<sighs> I want to play another BCDD22 run. Look. Do I die a lot in BCDD20? The answer is yes. Do you, the viewer, enjoy watching Abe Clancy play Blessed Curse Double Daisuke's Challenge Mode Turbo enabled? It's a coin toss. Some of you love them, some of you hate them. Thanks for not blowing on me, by the way. But I like it. It's a challenge, and also, it gives us brand new stories to tell. Stories of success and failure. Survival in when all odds are against us. Bashing your head on the wall until something ends up breaking, whether it's your head or the wall. Okay, that's an awkward moment. Oh God. Look, I know I'm on fire, game. <laughs> that was a little awkward. Will this find secret rooms when I pop the explosion? I don't think it will. I think maybe it used to and then it got changed. Shockwave, adrenaline rush. Ah! Tommy gun? Dude, I'll take a Tommy gun. I'll take Wind Gun, too. It's not Wind Gun, it's Gunder Gun. I always forget the name of this gun. Wind Gunner. Wind Jammer? Gun Jammer? It's gone now, it doesn't matter. Get out of here, gun. <laughs> ooh, 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 we have to. We have to. I don't know if we're gonna keep the commando. I'm gonna guess not, but... We've got an early, early, early opportunity. We did keep the commander. We've got an early opportunity to go directly into a boss fight. Thank Christ we don't have Blood Melon Rancher and Friendly Fire on this one. We have to take it. And this is actually a very easy set of, uh, of rules here. Unfortunately, the gun we have is basically garbage, but this is free damage. This is free damage against an easy boss. We have no LJ, we have nothing to worry about. Look, I hate my life sometimes. Okay, the gun has changed. We have LJ. Everyone beware, there is LJ on the field. And I did get hit by the stone. What I like about this though is even though we have LJ, this is not a difficult fight necessarily. All you gotta do is just avoid LJ's shots when they come out, and then just do your standard Gatling Gull play. There we go, it's been done, and we got a, a Super Turtle Friend to help us out. Thank you, Super Super Turtle Friend. Become for me four Super Space Turtles so that I may live on this run. That was pretty good. Don't blink Thermal Clips. That's the, that's what I was worried about, a, hit, a ghost hidden in the corner. Like those flippin' hands in uh, the Dark Souls 3 library area. Why did that come to my mind all of a sudden? Okay, bow is not what I was hoping for. Do we have thermal clips? Oh, God damn it! Oh, a gun change, awesome. This would be a great time to get to a shop. Being able to buy stuff on the cheap would be sweet, but hey, if we can't, we can't. Blood the Rancher, dark was the night. Nice shooting. Get that explosive barrel, break open their skulls. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I was very worried I would have to dodge through all the, the curse pots. Luckily, I didn't have to. Hey, Game Watch Libre. Well, thank you very much for that 15 months up. Long time. I hope you've enjoyed your time, the streams, uh, the games, and everything. 
because I certainly have, and I've enjoyed you being here as well. I enjoy everyone who, who hangs out the streams. I have a lot of fun. I hope more expansions come out for Dicey Dungeons. Was there a Dicey Dungeon expansion? I know that there was a, uh, a patch, an update if you would, that added in some like minor modding support. But I wouldn't call it an expansion. Get out of here, Excalibur! Except you're actually a pretty good gun for the moment. We're gonna make sure we pull LJ away, check out possible secret rooms, jump into that shop and see what's inside of it. Halloween thing? Yeah, that, again, that's like a minor content patch. I wouldn't call that a... Uh, a full-blown expansion or anything. Um, let's go all the way up here. Pull LJ. And then uh, go into that shop. Because there's a key shop man in there. And we have two keys ourselves. If we can buy something, like... I guess we can't buy the A key 47. It won't even appear. Chest vampirism and the ballot. Chest vampirism in the ballot. Okay, here, here's the thing, here's the thing. The ballot is coolness. Coolness gives you more drops. Chest vampirism gives you healing when you kill a chest. However, it also heals you if you, we've gotta change our gun, kill a mimic. So, if we find Mimics, we can turn those into HP, and if we can find a way to guarantee Mimics, we can turn those into HP. So I feel like we should buy two keys, and we should also buy both the Ballot for the coolness, and we should buy the, uh, the other thing. Also, I'm just realizing we should have probably used the lockpick a long time ago. Let's use it here. Actually, we shouldn't have used it a long time ago. We just found the, the chest. But we should definitely definitely be using the lockpick. And I do want to go down to the oubliette as well. Okay. There we go. Beans up the butt, thanks for stopping by. I will see you another time. Buy two keys. Buy both of the items. Could have also bought the jetpack. I don't know if we can still afford it. 38, we can still afford it. Temporary flight on difficult rooms could actually be annoying. Like this room here, Poison Pursuit. Just use that temporary flight and be able to get over the poison. We actually will be able to use the lockpick again. That's very nice. Don't need to. We have the freaking A key. Except, here's, the, here's the, the quandary. The quandary is, we do not have another chest on the level, and we have not found the fireplace room yet. Okay, we, we unlocked the chest. <laughs> Let's go in. Oh hey, it's uh, also wicked. That's interesting. Let's open it up. It's roll bomb. Fantastic. Then let's go into this room, and it's perfect. Holy shit! Do not dodge roll. However, my my idea was sometimes the fireplace room doesn't have enemies in it. If there's no enemies, we can use the A key to go to the oubliette without requiring any keys. This is this is extremely lucky. Why is this good? Because it means we can save the keys. By saving the keys, do not dodge roll, we can uh, open up chests, guaranteed. Get guaranteed items instead of having to risk the lockpick. We can trade those away if we get another uh, key shop man. I think, I'm, I, think I am going to get the jetpack. Bum, 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 bum. 
key shop man blessed me with the A key. Maybe that's his deal. Maybe there was an A key hidden in his supplies. Yeah, I'm gonna get the jetpack. Because we saved so much money right there, I think we can afford it. And also, this does work on multiple different modifiers. It helps protect you against Thermal Clips, Poison Pursuit, and Rat's Revenge because you can fly over the rat traps. So if we find ourselves in a rough situation, in either of those, any of those situations, we can just say, hey, you know what? I don't want to deal with Poison Pursuit and Thermal Clips and Rat's Revenge. Let me just pop my spacebar item and then try my best to dodge around it. And then all of a sudden you're good. I mean, I know the other one's coming. We just went through many guns very quickly. It's not something you want to see, but it's not something we can deal with. We got another key. We're, we're very key rich right now. But if you shoot the key shot man with the A key, that would be cool if it did anything, but it doesn't, unfortunately. <laughs> Not that I know of. That'd be a cool little synergy, though. You unlock him, he comes out of his shell. I don't know what that would do. All right, I walked into the pot. Now, I could pop my jetpack. I'm going to. In this particular room, I think the speed up definitely helps. I did take damage, but whatever. We just lost some armor. Who cares? Gold's Revenge, last bullet standing. I do want to do a quick little look around. I lost my armor in this room. Just wanna... A quick little secret room check right there, since we were already there. There we go. What is this? Ammo. Two ammo in, like, two combat rooms is very bad luck. Rats Revenge, long live the king. Well, if we wanted to... With Poison Gun plus Rat Traps, this is when we would abuse our flight. And a Poison Enemy, too. Yeah, this seems like a pretty good time to use this. Mimic? You don't look like a Mimic, but I got plenty of keys. Very wealth key? We are very key wealth. Very nice. I knew it. I knew it was going to be a big room. I thought to myself, you know what we haven't seen in a while? A nice big room. And you know what's nice about this big room? Uh, the fact that we have... Good flight! We can just kind of hang around the outside edge. We got a lot of speed. I can just pot shot these enemies and, and kill them slowly. Okay, I don't like spending my own money to do it, though. Also, is that... Yeah, that, that is unfriendly fire, so we got to be a little bit careful with our shots. Oh, God! The reflecting bullet from behind. It was perfectly lined up. I hate it. I hate you. Change my gun! Not to this! Anything but this! Oh, anything but this! It's like you don't understand what I want, game! LJ, get your ass out of here. Wow, that hasn't even done it yet. Got him. Dun -dun 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 it's always the wood gun. Hashtag blame the wood gun. Oh my lord, how did how did that dodge work?
Chest Vampirism. Chest Vampirism doesn't have any synergies, does it? I don't think so. Don't blink Gorgon's Gaze. Well, I want to be able to dodge if I need to, so we're definitely not activating that jetpack here. Yoink. Forgot all about Roll Bomb, too. Manook, good night. Thanks for stopping by. Also, Tiny Turtle, hello, welcome. I didn't read the name, but it, it, it works because I got the turtles. <laughs> I got the Tiny Turtles. Are you Mimic? Are you Mimic? You gotta tell me, I got the gun. This should find Wall Mimics. I don't know if it does or not, but I wish it did. If it didn't. Excuse me? Okay! Now we know. Now we know, guys. Now we know. Now the question is, do we want the Molotov? Because we can buy a key from the shop and open up both chests on this floor. Um... I kind of feel like we should take the Molotov. We got very lucky with our keys earlier. We basically saved three, which probably puts us above par for what we'll need for the rest of the run. So I kind of feel like Jetpack Molotov is what we want. You know, in certain rooms, if we want, we can just use the uh, Jetpack to give us a little bit more maneuverability. We can use the Molotov to give us a little bit more offense. I can't dodge roll. God, you're annoying. Okay, it's not Bilado and Rancher or Unfriendly Fire, and there's no Red Mages. Keep firing. Yeah, I like I like not having to worry about stuff on the ground. I can focus a little bit more on my my movement, but it is still a little awkward. To say the least. Good though. Good though. Gun Muncher in the old crest. Gun Muncher in the crest. And honestly, because we have both of the chests available. No, 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 no. Wait. You might get an A key. It's not super likely, but if you get another A key, you would like, certainly. To have a chance, by the way, we're getting rid of the Molotov for this. You would like to have a chance at, um... Sorry, you would like to have a chance at opening up those chests for free. I'm going to use all of the ammo in this gun. You might not like it, but we're basically buying another blank. We're buying a, an, a piece of armor by doing this. And it's only gonna take a minute. And then we'll go grab that ammo box when we're halfway, and then we'll go to all of the different rooms that we've been to and dig. Because apparently how this gun works, or at least what I've been told, is that you're guaranteed, not guaranteed, but you can get one good payout per room. So we should go between the different rooms that we've been to on the floor and do all of this shooting digging, because then we'll get payouts out of those rooms. We picked up, we picked up an ice bomb here, that's pretty sweet. One more. Okay, I don't think we need the Molotov. Ice Bomb, I like the Ice Bomb better because it deals with enemies immediately by freezing them. So we got a Guan Stone. That's probably the quote unquote good payout from this room. Cluster Mine, we're just gonna pick up and drop immediately because it's trash. Another Glass Guan Stone. Not, not a good payout, but it's something. Don't dodge roll, you'll break the chests, you jerk. A real bomb. Now, is there a bomb, I, there's no bomb ice bomb synergy. I was kind of hoping there, there would be. Do we want this instead of the jetpack? This 
The thing is, the bomb opens up secret rooms for free and kills enemies faster. The ice bomb deals with enemies by locking them down in ice, but it doesn't necessarily kill them faster. I think I'm going to upgrade to the bomb for the secret room guaranteed access without having to spend a blank on it. And then you can spend those blanks elsewhere. Could be the wrong decision. This is one of those decisions where I'm not sure if there's a right or wrong decision. I think it's just whatever you want. Don't kill my turtles, you dick. I may have gotten all of my good payouts out of the way. I didn't get anything from that one. Come on. All right, we'll, we'll have to skip this room and come back to it, but let's keep, you know, on with our adventures, I guess, our digging adventures. What we should also be doing, I guess, is shooting at the wall, seeing if there's going to be secret rooms. We can kind of do double duty. Also, don't re reload next to the bottom wall, because you'll dig stuff up and it'll be stuck in the wall. We, we may have hit maximum payouts. Is the thing. Teehee, you said duty. <laughs> I did. Duty, duty, tutti, fruity. Yeah, I think, I think we've hit our limit with good payouts, but... You know, we'll still walk around, we'll look for secret rooms, we'll get some extra cash. Talk about good payouts, got a freaking wall mimic on that one. Now, unfortunately, the Molotov didn't last very long. We've already gotten rid of it, but at least we had it. At least we found our wall mimic. I was debating on an earlier floor, the last floor, I think, I'm just spending a lot of time shooting all the walls looking for wall mimics. I guess we found one. Milkjug says, I giggled over the word duty all the time when I was doing importing, exporting. Your importing, exporting gig. I probably would giggle too. All right, we've done everything we could. Rocket-powered bullets. It's actually really good. A damage upgrade and a, a rate of, not a rate of fire increase, but a shot speed increase is actually not half bad. I may have disrupted the shopkeeper. LJ may have just pissed off the shopkeeper to a, a severe degree. And if he did, you know, if we don't get a shopkeeper on this floor, that's my bad. Hey, bomb. And a free key. Yeah, we definitely do not need that lockpick. We got enough keys. Let's see what we got. Jetpack in. Gorgon's Gaze Thermal Clips. Probably do not need the jetpack. Got hit once. There's HP on the floor, I'm pretty sure. Because there's, um, like, these attacks here, you really have to be able to dodge through them. You can't not dodge through some of this stuff. Oh yeah, QQ gun. I can't believe I didn't get hit by the... Uh, the Gorgon's gaze on that one. Also, can't believe I didn't get hit there. I know I've got these blanks, but I'm also thinking, you know, if we've got HP on the floor, which we do have a little bit of HP on the floor, um, what I could do is just keep the blanks, ah, uh, there's some damage right there, and then use them to hopefully get a, a flawless on the next floor when it actually matters. Well, there's the A key. We don't need it, because we've already spent the key on the chest that we want to open. But there is going to be a, um, one of these guys, and we can't really avoid it, unfortunately, because LJ's, LJ's bullet will activate it. Yeah. Also, he's jammed. 
He also has a gun, which makes me think that his second item is also going to be a gun. I, I don't exactly know how these guys work. Yeah, but it's two guns. Okay. I really wish you could get gun passive, because that would... Honestly, that would be a, a very nice change. I don't think that the Mimic Pedestals need to give you two items, but if they did, then getting a gun passive would mean, oh hey, you get the best of both worlds. If you had a guaranteed gun, well it's a guaranteed gun plus a passive. Boom, there you go. Fantastic. Look, I'm not a smart man. I should have probably known if there was going to be blanks in the shop. <laughs> but whatever, let's grab this crest and, and skedaddle skadoodle. Honestly though, we're doing pretty good. We have some good items. We have to use the jetpack to get any uh, modifier immunities, but it's still better than nothing. Ghost in the Shell, Shockwave. I forgot what this synergy does. Oh no. We turn enemies into bulletkins that turn them into ghosts. Okay, we're done. <laughs> you, you can... I don't know if you can actually go infinite, but I feel like you might actually be able to go infinite there. Okay, there goes the old crest. I wasn't going to do the floor anyways. Wanted to try to use the... Um... I wanted to try to use the uh, jetpack to get around the bullets. I really should have just dodge rolled on the main platform. That's okay. Unfriendly Fire Rat's Revenge. Oh, just don't miss. Alright. I, I missed multiple times. You know what? You can't get me. I'm faster than you are. I'm bigger than you. I'm high on the food chain. Man, being able to fly is real nice. <laughs> Zone control Gorgon's gaze. Not using the bomb, because I don't I don't really see the need to on this room. I should be using it more frequently, for sure. And this is a mimic, for sure. But I didn't see the need to use it on those rooms. Now, I like this room to fight this Mimic, because I can just stay on the other side of the platform and he's never going to be able to hit me. We're also going to heal by destroying this Mimic, which doesn't really matter because we already have full health, but, you know, there's... And we got a pretty bad item for it. But there's always a, a possibility that that information might come in handy in the future. Oh, hey, all of a sudden you got cigarettes. Oh, well, here's some free healing by killing this Mimic. You might as well go down a little bit on the HP so you can get some back. Adrenaline Rush, Unfriendly Fire, Pot Shots. Okay. Thank you, Jetpack. Hmm, <laughs> Mustache. That's a good item. Being able to heal just by buying things is pretty, 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 pretty good. And we don't need to buy anything right now, so we're not going to buy anything. But we really should get the Mustache. In fact, we really should just get the Mustache. Jetpack messes me up so bad. Here's the thing, it also messes me up, but I'm trying. Yep, yeah, it messed me up right there, because I gotta press space, and then dodge roll. And now I'm on fire, but now I can use a jetpack, and it's hard. Those shots did not spawn blobs even though they hit walls. I guess what happened is because they ricocheted off of him, they didn't spawn any blobs, which was very nice. Also, thank you, Roll Bomb Explosions. That was very handy. This is going to be a gun because we literally just got a... Uh, a passive. 
So we'll pick up the junk. Definitely hoping for something else, definitely hoping for healing. But again, we get, we get full health, we don't need the healing, so I guess I can't complain about that too much. I will buy the blank before the boss fight, but I'm purposefully waiting so that if we need the HP, we can get the mustache healing out of buying the blank. I guess it's not a guaranteed healing, but if we get healing, we would prefer to get the healing when we need it. So if we take a lot of damage, we can heal later. Can a broken gun chest give Junkin? Any chest can, I think. It's not like the chest had Junkin inside of it, you broke it and it dropped it. I don't know if I look for secret rooms in here, I'm just gonna do it real quick. Also doing a quick little, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Wall mimic check. I mean, you know, it worked out last time. I don't know if there can be any secret rooms around here, so I'm just gonna... I don't know, I'll shoot here, then we'll move on. I also don't know if Roll Bomb can find it. I don't think so. Right, right, it used to. Now it can't. I remember. Because I think that's, uh... I think thematically it should. Dragon fire. That's a decent boss killing gun if we can find the boss quickly. Triple gun. Triple gun is very slow when you get it in blessed mode. I could use the bomb, but two red shotgunners are not going to hit me. I hope. I would also hope that uh, a couple of jammed bulletkin wouldn't be able to hit me, but you never know. Oh, the, the turtles! They help so much! You got a wall mimic in the first room? I have done that as well. I have gotten a wall mimic literally in the spawn room. It doesn't happen super frequently, but it can happen. Any, any, like, available wall can turn into the wall mimic. And sometimes I, I've seen them from the spawn room. Like, I, I spawned in, in the entrance room, and right next to the entrance was a gun sticking out of the wall. And I thought to myself, that doesn't look right. And surprise, surprise, it didn't look right. We have four blanks, bomb, Jetpack. Shockwave, Gorgon's Gaze. Okay. Hate this gun. I am gonna abuse, I think, a little bit, oh my gosh, should've probably been hit there. A little bit of blankage when these shockwaves come out. Oh, there's a shockwave laser beam right there. Shit! I blanked just a split second too late, and we also summoned an LJ. I don't, I don't mind not getting the flawless with summoning an LJ. I just mind that I should have had that reaction. Like I should have had that. That's we've done. We played this game before. You know what I mean? All right. That's okay. Also, don't know where the secret room is. I guess it could be on the right side of here. There it is. Might as well buy the HP. Never know when we're gonna need it. There's some more HP. Get some armor. Don't need the keys. Let's get out of here. We definitely do not want to go to the Abbey, even if we had the crest. Damn. Does a jammed enemy have triple health or more? It depends on the enemy. Um, standard bulletkins have like nearly four times the health, but um, jammed gun knights only have like 1.5 times the health on certain floors. So it's not it's not just a consistent number. 
It depends on the enemy and it depends on the floor. Gotta fly. Turtles! This one's on you, buddy. He killed the turtle by walking into him! We got another turtle. Hammer time, pot shots, final attack, high stress. What the hell? Alright, there goes the pot shot, there's the hammer time, and there's the freaking mushroom man. What kind of horrible, horrible room is this? Well, I got hit again. This room sucked, but thank god I had the extra armor, because the blank effect definitely helped me out. Abe decide. Abe decides to leave it. This is not a run where I feel confident, and this is also not a run where we have any like curse advantage except for that. It's not like we have a, a Cursula shop, and that Cursula shop has uh, Elder Blank, and we also have Gold Amulet, and uh, we also can take advantage out of having uh, Six Chamber combined with the effect of cursed bullets. It's not like we have that type of a synergy. And now I have another decision to make. The grappling hook. It's so good. What I... <sighs> Grappling hook jetpack? The only problem with this is that these are items that you have to, like, const- Sorry, turtle. You have to constantly- Oh, you know what? Anti-synergy right there. If you hit your turtle, it really shouldn't stun your turtle. But if you stun your turtle, then it means your grappling hook shot is not going to do what you want it to do. Huh. You know? Knowing that, I'm going to actually go back to the bomb. I don't want to- Like, I want to keep the turtles, because they're cool and fun. But if my grappling hook shot could ever miss, that seems like such a stupid thing. And why would I ever want my grappling hook shot to miss, you know what I mean? The grappling hook shot missing could literally kill me if I'm trying to use that to evade or stun an enemy or, you know, get out of the way of bullets on a boss fight or something. That seems like a, a pretty, that seems like an item that could kill me. So I really don't want to take it. Are we going to fight the third floor boss? No, I would rather wait. You're the enemy? It's a ghost. Ah! Oh. I don't know where the ghost spawned. Because the only thing that I can see is a giant laser beam of death. We're good. Would you take it all? If you had all that, all those cursed items? I've done it before. I had a um, a run where there was like two shops. One of them had Elder Blank. I had Gold Amulet. One of them had uh, Cursed Bullets or something like that. And I went full curse build. And if I'm not mistaken, we won that, won that run. But I, I've done that before and I failed. So it's, it's not like it's a guaranteed success or anything like that because you have... Ev like, if you're playing Vanilla Gungeon, half of all enemies are going to be cursed. If you're playing this mod, 100% of all the enemies would be cursed. Because I have scaling curse above level 10. So you can you can get yourself in a lot of trouble if you take a lot of curse. And if you take a lot of curse and you freaking die, it's on you! And I've done it before. I've taken all the cursed items and died. But it's made for a good show. Creating the fire. Oh, the uh, lanterns of the walls. It's a pretty good room. 
Bomb? No reason to use a bomb, I think, when we have a room that has, uh... Don't blink in it. I think this is just a room where... Fuck off. It's where I just want to kill everything. And now, you know, now the situation is going to change a little bit. We have to... I don't know what hit me. I think it was a blob that was literally in front of me. We gotta, we gotta... Step things up a notch here. My reload gun went away. That's what happens when you rely on fight saber. In other words, you shouldn't. Dunk, 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 dunk. Get me out of here. Where am I going? This is not even like the way to anything. I have table tech money. I have to blank, there's so many curse pots. I actually didn't even notice it was cursed ceramics, even though there were, there were cursed ceramics all over the place. I thought I had the jetpack equipped. Yeah, I'm, I'm starting to regret taking the jetpack. It's, it's too much to micro when you're trying to focus on things. Like, I'm taking damage because I had the jetpack when I, or I had the uh, bomb when I thought I had the jetpack. I'm not able to switch fast enough. We have the nail gun again. Thermal clips, shockwave, ghost, and explosive fire. Get me out of there. Yeah, this is what I want. Yeah, a jammed one of these guys is exactly what I'm looking for today. Like, I didn't even think about it, but Shockwave is one of the modifiers where you, you cannot use the jetpack. Unless you have immunity to electricity, you have to use the jetpack. Or sorry, you have to not use the jetpack, because if, you, if you're using the jetpack, you're not going to be able to actually make the dodge. I got hit by a jammed blob that I didn't see. Could you not, please, with the hammer time? Could you not, <laughs> please? <laughs> Ah, uh, GT Quark, hello, welcome, how you doing? Um, 41 minutes. Ah, uh, it's like exactly on that point, on that line of being enough for like an episode to go up, but I'm still not happy with it because we died on the third floor. <laughs> but uh, I guess, I guess we'll end this, this run attempt here. Uh, I, we've been getting mustache quite quite uh, frequently on these BCDD 20T runs. I like the item. I should have probably gone back and bought some health or gotten health from the dispensary, but I really didn't expect to just have a horrible, horrible room coming up next. There was fire everywhere, lots of bullets. I didn't really have too much maneuverability. I think, and here's the thing. That's a room where the ice bomb or the grappling hook would have been more helpful because I could have stunned the unit in the center, the shambling round, and then focused on everything else for a while. Maybe I should have taken the grappling hook instead of the bomb. But we did have like five active items we had to choose from. Well, six if you count the lockpick. We had lockpick, jetpack, ice bomb, bomb, molotov, grappling hook, within like a floor and a half of each other. And, you know, I chose Jetpack Bomb. I think if I if I could go back, I would probably choose Jetpack Grappling Hook because the Jetpack is good for certain situations. Like that, the room prior to this room with the bullet, the jammed bullet in the very middle of the minecart area, not the minecart, but the, you know, the, the rail tracks. It really helped because I could actually dodge around the bullets and then disable the jetpack when I needed to dodge over the uh, the shockwave laser beams. So I, th I think that the jetpack grappling hook would have probably been better, but I, I did not want to run the risk of hitting my turtles. Honestly, that feels like a bug. 
oh well.